What up? So unfortunately, the audio on the beginning clip got really messed up. So we're just going to do a quick intro here. In today's video, what I'm going to do, though, is we're going to go over the top 10 unique vehicles for sale at JD Hawaii. For me, these are kind of my favorite videos because you guys know I drive all over the place. I fly all over the place and I check out cool K cars all over. But it's kind of special to see them all in one place. So without further ado, let's go over number one. It's a little windy, so let's do it like this. Number one is going to be this 1994 Suzuki Carry. So first and foremost we can say the best thing about this guy is probably the color most k tricks as you guys know are obviously white this one being a nice hunter green is beautiful i love the over fenders i love these rims i love the attention to detail on the battery cover the interior is super clean gotta love that even the bed is painted green this guy is beautiful Whenever I see a color K truck, even the stock blue ones are really nice. But when you see something like this with cool attention to details like mirrors like this, you got to give it some flowers. So number one is going to be this 1994 Suzuki. Right behind that, it's Honda Brother. Again, nice fitment, front lip. I love the attention to detail on this yellow old Honda logo. This guy is sick. It's actually on coilovers. If you can see the blue over there, that's beautiful. Has a battery cover I love. Here's a look at the back. It's missing the little bar here. And sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it. For this one, it looks super sleek, so I don't mind. But it's missing this, which I don't mind at all. It's full-time four-wheel drive. Gotta love the chocolate brown interior. Has a nice wood grain stairwell. Only 68,000 kilometers. It has the tack. All this thing needs is a nice clock right there. Maybe some California mirrors. I would love to get a K-Truck like this. And this is number two, this 1996. Honda Acti. Number three, and hopefully a surprise to no one, the Midget 2. How could this not be one of the most coolest unique vehicles here? This guy's a one and a half seater. I did a whole video on it. If you haven't watched it, click the corner right now. But can you beat this? Can you beat the little extra window? You click this right there. If this thing came manual, which I know doesn't make sense, but if it came manual, I would love this with a passion. But how do you beat this? How could this not be one of the coolest cars you've ever seen, period? And then all in one place. Like, come on. And then right next to that, boom. This is a customer's car, so I'm not gonna speak too much about it. This would be in the honorable mention section. But this is a deck man. Super nice. Love the VW kit. Love the VW rims. This one has the interior reupholstered. Everything is blue. Power windows all around. From what I know, this one also has an engine and transmission swap. But if you're watching this video right now, I'm not going to talk too much about it because this one technically isn't for sale. Next on my list, let's talk about the Subaru Sandbar van. So this is a DS2. And from my understanding, I'm not a full Subaru guy, but this 1992 Sandbar, in my opinion, is fully loaded. I, if I own this van, there's nothing more I would do to it. It is supercharged, full-time four-wheel drive. It has fog lights, and not only does it have fog lights, but they're yellow. It has the cool air roof, so you gotta love that. It has power windows only in the front. It's kind of rare to see power windows in a lot of these sandbars, but at least just having it in the front is a nice touch. It is manual. It has ultra low. It only has 116,000 kilometers. It has the tack. It has AC. I don't see what else this van could possibly have. The interior super mint. Actually, wait, there's one more thing. Does the seats turn? I know on some of these it turns. I'm gonna assume this one doesn't. So I guess it's missing one thing. It doesn't have the seats that swivel, from my understanding at least. From what I know, it has like a little line right here. You see this line? But I don't think based on these guards that it swivels. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But this guy's very nice. This is a van that I would actually buy without a doubt. It looks like at one point it had curtains too. You can see someone had some curtains back here in Japan. So that's cool. But this guy, beautiful. Gotta love the roof. Gotta love the interior. Gotta love this van. This is definitely on the top 10. Speaking of Subaru, let's go over this burgundy cream guy right here. So this guy has a nice little kit. You can see it has some little side skirts there. Little something by the gas tank. I'm loving this fifth wheel right here. This thing is beautiful. The interior is mint. Look at these seats. This one isn't supercharged, but it has low kilometers. Is four wheel drive, five speed, no AC, but that's not the deal breaker. And then the front end, the front end is beautiful. Look at this, has some eyelids. This guy's a really nice touch. Again, you don't really see a lot of colored K trucks. You don't really see two tone K trucks. And then this guy having its nice little kit, it makes it an overall gate truck and it's a 90 so that makes it cool nice little round headlights this is a great truck next on the list is another round headlight suzuki so this one is white 
so there is some white k-trucks on here but this one has rims which is always beautiful to see most k-trucks come like that but what i love about this guy is the reupholstered interior it's completely red it's a little reminiscent to my k-truck that i had that was very similar to this but i did all of this blue i will insert some pictures now but here's how that look and it's kind of cool just to see first of all seeing k-trucks in a different color pretty rare seeing a different color interior is even more rare so you gotta love that and it has a nice aftermarket wheel so this is definitely on my top 10 list with only 28,000 kilometers you gotta love it i'm not even sure what number we're up to but this is at least in the honorable mention list nice little nardo gray truck gotta love the black wheels nice little dunlops interior is also mint look at this interior and then i love the fact that this is black on all the trucks this is obviously white because the cab is white you can see all this is always white but this one is black which is super cool and then they put some speakers up here everybody loves to play music who doesn't want some additional speakers so that's a nice touch another honorable mention but not for sale the homies jimny this thing is beautiful you guys know i obviously love jimny's cool over fenders definitely next time in hawaii i definitely want to ride on this we got to go over some mountains or do whatever you guys do out here because this is definitely built for some real deal action and i gotta see it next on the list is this 1997 honda acti so this one might look like your just normal regular honda k truck does have some rims i'll show you guys the interior it's a five speed, everything looks nice and clean, does have AC, 70,000 kilometers. Well, what makes this guy so special is it has a hoist. So when I first saw this actually, and I was like, what is the point of this? And he was like, think about it. If you have a little shop or you're just picking up engines, this thing has a payload of 250 kilograms. And then you have the little like remote here. They have the controller inside. I would love to see this in action. But if you pull this off, you can see that right there. That's cool. But as we know, Honda Acties are probably one of the most popular K trucks. And seeing one with a crane in the back is just super special. I would love to get a car like this. And I would probably have zero use for the crane. But just going to car me with this, I don't know, picking up something with this, latching it onto like a Miata, and just picking it up and seeing it work would be just one of the coolest flexes. Next is the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup that had to hide jet. Any color K truck is special. When you see like this weird little brown olive color, it makes it even cooler. I told you guys I call this the Reese's Peanut Butter K truck. Beautiful black bed liner. The interior is mint. Nice cool peanut butter color. Has an aftermarket personal wheel, which is really nice. And then something I didn't realize till after the video is that it's on 10 inch rims. It's on 145 R10s. That's why the fitment looks so nice. I was looking at it and I was like, why does it look so low? Why does it look so cool? It's on 10 inch rims. Honorable mention are these three guys. I don't really know much about dualies or what I would do with this, but I think it's cool to just see it in Hawaii. This Mazda Bongo is like a smaller version of these two Elfs. I think that's pretty cool. They have nice interiors. They're probably super comfortable. I'm sure these would really put in some actual work five speed four wheel drive of course but look at the interiors it even has a nice little bucket seat so these are cool i just don't know what i would do with it but it's nice to see it now we're gonna work our way inside and show you guys three special ones and then stay tuned to the end of the video because i'm going to show you the most special truck last time i was here i spoke about this delica this is a 1970s delica with a vw kit this guy is obviously super cool needless to say it's yellow and white seeing such an old unit is nice cool ben c i believe it's still diesel it has a column shifter too like my old delica it's probably a four speed but this guy's cool next we have the mitsuoka Vute. i didn't get to make the test drive of this guy but it was a very fun car super comfortable for it being a nissan march you wouldn't think that it would be i guess just so comfortable maybe i'm just so used to k cars but this guy's cool beautiful interior it's cvt but surprisingly it wasn't bad the CVT K cars I've driven have all been terrible, but this guy being CVT was nice. It even has a sports mode, so this is really cool. And then we're going to have to spend a couple minutes on this guy, or at least a couple seconds. So this is obviously on the list. This Yuno's Roadster, as you guys know, huge Miata fanboy. Seeing one like this, I'm still indifferent. I think it's very nice. I think the kit, because of all the attention to detail, the fact that it has a rear bumper kit, it has this riveted in, it has side skirts, has fenders with little intakes, it has this light on here, it has this really cool front bumper. At first I thought the hood was changed, but realistically they just added this and that to make it complete. But even these little gaps aren't too bad because when you think about it, the headlights do this and now they don't. So this guy is definitely one of the most unique vehicles ever. And then let along at JDM Hawaii, like look at this. 
Momo wheel airbags. It only has 89,000 kilometers, and this one is cool because it's actually a 1.8. And now, let's go over the car that I've been waiting to show you guys, the most important car in Hawaii, the coolest car in Hawaii, the car that probably is gonna make me shed a tear when I leave. It is this beautiful, not complete, sadly. I don't think I'm gonna be able to drive it, which is kind of sad. I'm here for two more days and maybe I'll get to drive it. If not, I'm still super appreciative. Shout out to JDM Hawaii, shout out to you guys again because Things like what's happening in front of me wouldn't be possible if people didn't continue to come back and watch the videos. Continue to like, comment, subscribe, share. Even the people who just don't subscribe and do any of those things, but at least are watching. It helps the channel, helps me grow. It helps me know that, you know, making these weird little niche K videos are worth it. Because obviously the most important cars are like Skylines and Type R and stuff like that. But I've never been someone with a lot of money or someone that really cared about going fast. I've always loved Miatas and I always loved cool cars and I've always loved K trucks. And this is my very own K truck. Look at the attention to detail on this. So this is a Suzuki Carry, very similar to, I don't know, another Suzuki Carry that's here. You guys see them a bunch of times. But this one has a kit from Blacks, B-L-A-X in Japan, and it's a full kit. So I'll go over every single detail now that this is kind of the tail end of my trip. So you can see the spoiler here. It is a one, two, three piece spoiler. And then you have this additional piece as part of Blacks. That's part of the blacks. You can see it just mounted onto the body. This is part of the blacks kit. This, this is part of the blacks kit. This front lip is part of the blacks kit. They painted the bumper white so it won't have like a panda look. It'll be a clean white. And then reverse on this side. One, two, three, four. And then your little filler right there. Some of them even have the spoilers up there but I think it looks actually really cool with that. The bed being black is beautiful. Look at the interior of this guy. It has speakers in the glove box. Look at that. I've never seen anything like that. It actually makes me want to do it to my next skate truck because I think that's super cool. But this one says, slow moving vehicles overtake freely. It actually came with the Suzuki right here, which I think is nice. And then look at the headliner, checkered. It's even cooler. And then most importantly, the fact that Slater and the homies at JDM Hawaii were kind enough to put Wait for the Fame there. They were kind enough to put YouTube, Instagram, way for the fame right there where the driver is gonna be. And then even putting it back here. This is probably the coolest K truck, not probably, this is the coolest K truck ever. This is the most sentimental K truck ever. If I could, I would buy this. I'd bring it back to New York. I'd put JDM Hawaii somewhere on here and I would drive it all over the place. Cause even look at the rims. The rims are super cool. It has huge spacers. If you can see it, you probably can't see it, but it has huge spacers. And this truck is amazing. I love it a lot. That's where we're gonna end the video. I'm gonna see if I'm able to drive this. Hopefully there's a video of me coming soon of me driving this beautiful Suzuki because this is a one of one truck. This is one of the coolest trucks here. I showed you guys a lot of cars here. I don't even know what number we're at. I probably got to like 12, 13, but this Suzuki, this is obviously the coolest one in Hawaii. Not just at JDM Hawaii, but in all of Hawaii. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Remember the name, this is way before the fame.